For Hatch, the AP60 project represented an exciting opportunity to be involved in proving a groundbreaking aluminum smelting technology capable of dramatically increasing production while reducing energy consumption and emissions. Hatch as an organization, we love new technologies, we love to implement new and groundbreaking ideas. It's a very complex process, you need to have the sequence very well, you need to get all the fabrication correct, it's very demanding. Bringing any new technology to fruition involves challenges and risks. The Hatch Joint Venture and Rio Tinto Alcan teams work to overcome these challenges through a phased approach to project development. We had the liberty of implementing our uh, delivery model to the full extent, uh, whereas we had all the stakeholders uh, involved in all the uh, phases, earlier phases of the project prior to its implementation. And basically we were living uh, the uh, famous uh, Jerry Hatch quote, which is, do your homework. And we did. Open communication helped to align project participants, including the client teams, EPCM teams, suppliers and contractors. When you walked into the project offices, you would always see people very engaged, working together as a team, uh, just making things happen that, that haven't happened before. Uh, and, and I think it all boils down to people being able to take off their corporate hats and put on their project hat and working together for, for one single unified goal on this project. Um, and to actually achieve that goal, I think it's just something that uh, one cannot take for granted. Early involvement of our construction team in the project definition phase meant time and money saved in the implementation phase of the project. Our construction uh, staff was actually um, very, very close to uh, the technology provider and uh, they were able actually to influence the design, not from the technology standpoint, but from the um, fabrication standpoint to make it easier to install in the field. A well-timed pipeline of engineering information meant that construction teams could focus on finding optimal strategies to build the plant safely and with the highest standards of quality. The confidence you create in, in being able to resolve the day-to-day -day problem reduce the, uh, the need for buffer or to, to accumulate, I would say, equipment, information or things ahead of time to make sure when we have to do the work, everything is there. Is At one point you start to believe that it's not there today, but in a week when I will start, that's, that's going to be there because it happened many times and it will just continue to happen. Dynamic cost and schedule forecasting supported proactive change management and action plan development. Lean tools and working methods kept the team focused on providing value to the project. Instead of everyone having a great uh, ID and a great plan, basically we share a lot of IDs, a lot of plans, and we get the best of uh, everybody around us. As colleagues, we sit together or stand up together because lean, that's, that's the way it works. And we express our need and people make commitment. One of the most notable aspects of the AP60 project was the step change to the safety culture in Quebec that led to a safety record 10 times better than North American construction industry average. We engage heavily with the contractors. We had a very good pre-qualification process, but it did not stop there. Okay? I mean, we met every single contractor management that came to site to be sure they were aligned with our values. We asked them to be present on site. To, to communicate the value to workers. We were present on site with the workers also to get those value across. And, uh, and we continue that throughout the duration of the project. So we achieve uh, breakthrough results for, for Quebec. I know that we raise the bar of other sites around us and what people learn and because they behave in a different way now, because they learn how to hack and how to apply HSC in their life, basically, not just at work. For Rio Tinto Alcan and for Hatch, the AP60 project has raised the bar and set new benchmarks in health and safety, project execution, teamwork, and performance. The AP60 project is a really, really good example of, of how teams came together, faced real challenges, were able to together surmount those challenges, find ways, 
smarter, better ways of working around those challenges and implementing this new technology. And, uh, and in the end, to deliver a project that actually works and works the way it's designed to work. Rio Tinto Alcan's AP60 project was the winner of the Project Management Institute's Project of the Year for 2014. Project Director Michel Charon said, Project delivery. It's all about how good you are at detailing a plan, presenting a plan, executing the plan, and delivering the result. And that's what they did so well. They were the best.